In this video, I'm going to break down the use of base concrete tile and texture set for UE5. And this tile and texture set contains one master material and seven material instances. And I'm going to briefly cover the material editor setup as well as the material instances. And these are great to be used for interiors or exteriors where you need that base standard concrete. And if you want to get this master material and seven material instances to use, you can grab them on WOLD Patreon, become a supporter, and you'll get these material instances and a lot more assets to use to create your environments with. So after you've placed the master material and the material instances into the proper folder structure and into their subfolder directory, they will show up inside the content browser. And you can check out the video on WOLD Patreon to show you how to use these assets and where to place them correctly. So I am already inside the WOLD Patreon folder, inside the varied miscellaneous folder, inside the materials folder and just search for concrete underscore base. If you have additional assets in there, this way we can isolate to just the concrete base tile and textures. So this is what you get. One master material and seven material concrete instances. Also inside the textures folder, you have 15 different textures that are already set up for you inside the material and then changed out for each of the material instances. So the material instances are ready to be used right away by simply left click hold and drag any of these material instances onto static meshes inside your level. These are best to be used on tile and walls, floors and ceilings. And I'm gonna use these 300 by 300 walls, floors and ceilings to show you what they are. But you can use them on any surfaces where you need a tile and texture. Just simply left click hold and drag and drop them onto a static mesh. Now before I start dragging these onto walls, floors and ceilings, let me open up the master material and just briefly cover the setup that it uses. So at the very top you have your base color controls, then you have your roughness controls and then normal map controls as well as a secondary normal map that can be turned on and off to blend between two different normals and I'll show you what that means within the material instance. The base color has brighten and darken setup so you can brighten or darken the texture, you can change the color of the texture as well as desaturate or saturate. For the roughness, you have two controls in order to make the surface more shinier or more dull. You have your minimum and maximum values. And then for normal map, you have your standard normal map intensity. And then I also included a normal map rotate fix. And when it comes to rotation, tiling, and offset, you have your standard setups right here for tiling, for offset, and to rotate your textures if you need it. And then the last, I included a secondary normal map to be blended with the original. So you have your base texture for your normal map. And then you have an option to enable a switch, and the switch is right here, to include a second normal map to be blended with the first. So this allows you to have a combination of two normals. One could be micro detail and another one could be macro detail. And some of the material instances have the switch enabled and two normal maps are being blended together. And again, I'll show you what they are inside the material instance. So with that, let's go ahead and jump over to the material instances. So you can ignore the master material because the seven material instances are propagated from this master material. And I've labeled each of the material instances as a suggestion for what surface that should be used. So here you have ceiling plane, ceiling panels, two floors, one floor is plane and the other one is tiles, and then three wall material instances. Two plane, one and two, and the last one has detailed holes on the wall concrete. So these are suggestions for what they should be used for, but you can use them interchangeably. So a wall could be a floor or some of these ceilings could be used on the wall. So these are just suggestions, but you can use them on any surface you want. So I'm gonna stick with what they are suggested for. Let's take a look at the ceiling. So the first ceiling, let me go ahead and drag it. The first one is plain ceiling. This is just standard concrete for ceilings, a tile and ceiling, but it's plain. And for the second one, I'm gonna grab the panels and drag it on here. So this ceiling, let me open this up, contains the blended normal. And the first one, let me open this one up, is just a standard single normal map. So for many of the materials, I've enabled the secondary normal to be blended together in order to expand on the use of a single normal map. And then it blends with a secondary normal, like you see right here on the second one. So if I turn this off temporarily, you can see that it just reverts back to the first ceiling. And with a secondary normal, let me enable this back on. It introduces normal number two for macro detail for the panels. Each material instance is already set up for you to use. And all you have to do is just open it up and begin going through some of these settings. So if you need to darken or brighten any of these textures, these controls are going to be standard across every single material instance. So you simply enable any of these and you can brighten or darken. You can change the color and then you can desaturate it or saturate it. 
And then of course you can swap out any of the base color, the detail normal, the standard base normal, as well as the secondary normal, or the roughness with anything else you want. If you have a second texture, you would just create an offshoot, a copy of a material instance and just replace some of these textures with some new ones. Again, you don't need to do this for seven of the material instances that have already been set up for you. And all you have to do is just change individual settings, but not the textures themselves. Let me go ahead and just close this and take a look at the walls. I'm going to take the walls and drag. Here's the first one, plane zero one. Here's one with the holes. And here is plane two. It's just a different surface quality than the first one. Just gives you a little bit of a different variation. Now this one right here, that's the one that uses a secondary normal to blend on top. So it's the wall plane zero one with a secondary normal added on top. And you have control for the normal map intensity for those holes. And then for the floor, you have two different floors. Let me go ahead and close this. Let me drag, this is a plane floor. I'm gonna drag on all four panels. It's a little shinier and it's great for tile and floors. And then you have tiles, which probably is the one you would use the most and the one I like the most because it provides that tiles on the floor. And again, this first concrete floor uses your standard setup without secondary normal. And the second one introduces that secondary normal blend that gives you those tiling indents. And again, you can decrease them or increase them however you want. And as far as the roughness goes, you can of course change your roughness minimum and maximum enable it and then increase it or decrease it so if you want it more dull or if you want it more shiny just play around with the values and change it to what you like and then of course every single material instance also has tiling for offset for rotate to tile those textures so if you want to increase the tiling you can do so as well as you can rotate it if you need it or offset it and control where the tiles are positioned. So the master material and the material instances allow you to have a lot of control over the appearance for your concrete base textures. And you can even expand that further by introducing your own normal map, especially in a secondary channel to blend between your base normal. So let me quickly show you what you could do. I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of the very first concrete wall right here and just create a duplicate and then we can swap out or add in that secondary normal. So I'm gonna right click on this and duplicate. You can also press control D and let me just name this MI underscore test just so we know what we're dealing with. And let me just remove this and just type in test. So we just isolate it to that single material instance. Let me go ahead and apply it to a wall. I'm just gonna take this wall, make a copy of it and take this test material instance and apply it on here. So this is our, let's say our base concrete. Let's open up the properties for it and let's make it a little smaller so we can see. So again, you can change any of these colors for the base texture. You can adjust the saturation, desaturation, as well as make it brighter or darker, but mainly I wanna show you the secondary normal. So you have your first normal map and you have your base color and roughness, but let's say you wanna introduce a secondary normal to change any of the base concrete textures to have some additional detail that's unique to this wall. You would just need to have a second normal. So let's go ahead and enable the secondary normal blend and then turn it on. The default will be the holes, but you can go ahead and enable this blend and change out the normal map. Let's go into starter content and just take a look at the textures here. I could drag any of these normal map textures on top to introduce that secondary normal blend with the first base normal. So let's say I wanna go ahead and maybe drag this stone and replace it. So I would just drag it over the normal blend macro and now we have some variation. Maybe I want to have some ceramic tiles. If I need to increase their intensity of this normal map, increase this value to something more. And then I can just go through and just try out different normals and see what would look good if I start to blend between some of these normals. Let's take this ground grass for example. That may not look good. Here's some uh, sci-fi's hexagonal tiles. Let's go ahead and drag this. This may look interesting. Maybe this panel. Or oh, there's some concrete panels right here. So you can introduce a lot of variety just by using the starter content textures and some of the normal maps to blend between your base texture and the secondary normal, as well as introducing your own. So this is a great base concrete tile and texture set to use. And then you can add on variations on top by introducing that second normal, as well as changing any of the properties within the material instance to define the look that you're looking for. Hope you enjoy these material instances and begin creating some concrete brutalist environment architecture with it.